All right, welcome back. If you'll recall in the last video, we talked about how to use the Reason Rack plugin to make great instruments that were basically just Reason instruments that would be playing in your other DAW as a rack. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to enhance your existing tracks in your DAW with the power of Reason. I don't know, it's near Halloween, I'm feeling spooky. So if you didn't catch that previous video, be sure to go back and look at it. It's gonna be in the same playlist. They'll be linked, you know, internet. Um, but either way, I would totally recommend you checking out the free Reason Cheat Sheet with the link down below. This gives you a quick and dirty overview of how to use all of the instruments, effects, plugins, utilities, and players in Reason that you're gonna to see today in this video. So you'll instantly be able to know the difference between an audiomatic and a synchronous and a pulverizer without having to like fumble around. You just have your little cheat sheet and you're like, ah, that's what it does. Download it. Now watch the intro. Cool, we're back. So let's take a listen to just this basic thing. Let's even rename Untitled Reason Instrument. So this instrument was created completely in Reason. These other two are just stock logic instruments and I wanna show you how you can use Reason to also enhance those. On the Reason instrument's the lead. So this is the basic stuff here. The first thing I wanna do is go to the Reason electric, or the classical electric. The classic electric piano hooked on phonics did not work for me. Um, the classic electric piano here. And it's very simple, it's just playing one note at a time. Sounds nice, but one note at a time. So what if we could make that into beautiful chords? Well, the Reason Rack's got a solution for that. We go to this MIDI effects section in Logic. Most DAWs are gonna have a similar section. Go to Audio Units, Reason Studios, Reason Rack plugin. Now the only type of Reason plugin that's gonna work or do anything in the MIDI effects section is if you right click and go to Utilities. No, I lied. If you right click and go to Players. Players are the only type of Reason tool that will work in the MIDI effects section, which is why you should download that cheat sheet. I should download the cheat sheet again. So what we're gonna do is use something called scales and chords. This is either it can force, uh, you know, tracks into a certain scale or it can enhance it with chords. So just the basics, we've now put it on. Now it's gonna be playing chords in the C major scale. Already better. Let's add an octave up. Let's make it open chords instead, which is just a different voicing. And maybe a different inversion. Should I make it seventh chord? sounding better. We're clipping, so I'm gonna add a, I'm not gonna add a reason, uh, we'll just use Ozone 9 Maximizer. Good little friend. All right, cool. Now we will no longer be clipping. So now we'll go back to the classic electric piano, and I also want to add some effects to it. So I'm down in the effects section, and I'm going to go to effects, audio units, Reason Studios, Reason Rack, Plugin Effect, Stereo. So here we're not gonna, like here it's already suggested the effects we could use. Um, we can't use an instrument in the effects that you have to use one of the effects. So the first thing I wanna slap on is an Echo, which is a really cool tape delay plugin. We'll lower the wet dry. We'll take the lead off. Sound 
nice. Maybe a little more confused. Do we want it to sound like some bad tape wobbling? Also add a little bit of phasing. Or not, I don't know. I don't know if that helped one bit. Leave a comment below if you think this phasing is a good choice. Also, let's add some glue to this, uh, even though there is already some glue on it. Let's make it a little gluier with the Reason Rack plugin to the drum bus. So here, the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is add the, and this is a great little bus compressor, the built-in devices, the master bus compressor, also works great on drum buses. Try something like 30 and auto, four to one, and let's try a few dB of up for that game. kind of the basics of how you can use reason as an effect and a utility to enhance your tracks. So in this series of videos, you've learned basically how to use this reason plugin like a boss. But if you really want to dive deeper, please check out that cheat sheet. And I've got some courses on reason as well that are really going to help you take it to the next level. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and have a great one.